Hello everybody, this is Vince Omega and in this video I'm going to give you a demonstration of how Donair DX works. Donair DX is based off of boss or group of enemies of behemoth called Donairs and the boss himself is called Donair RX. So you're borrowing a lot of their moves. With that said, let's start talking about the moves. On the A key, you may see a blip icon. What that skill allows you to do, well, allows Donair DX to do, is to perform a body slam. This is your most powerful attack, I believe. It also has the lowest cooldown. Well, it doesn't have the lowest cooldown duration, but it has close to the lowest. The next skill actually has the lowest cooldown duration. On the S key, you may see a oil spill. That particular oil spill allows you to throw several oil bombs or oil flasks on the ground. And these oil flasks can be exploded by using fire attacks. You have two fire attacks at your disposal, which are going to hold. The skill on key D is basically a multiple cocktail attack. It will, it will basically throw a multiple cocktail towards the ground and it will ignite. This can also set off your oil blast skill and cause it to explode. When using conjunction, they can do a great amount of damage. The skill on Key G, which is represented by a bomb icon, allows Donair DX to perform a bombing run. This is your second most powerful attack, right next to the Body Slam. It also has the longest cooldown duration period. Lastly, the icon hovering slightly above the hot key bar. This particular icon that you see allows you to control the direction of your cannons. Most basically your standard X attack. Now your standard X attack actually shoots forward on the X axis. When you press the jump key, it basically controls it basically changes the, the, the direction of the cannons themselves and points them towards the ground. Now this is your secondary fire attack. Um, essentially, imagine this. Give a spitfire, blazing bullets, and have them shoot at the ground. Now they give them, give them the ability to move while they're doing that. It's a pretty scary thought, right? But that's what Dawn Air DX does. Looks like it just gave Naples an idea. Perhaps if they're listening, they may make it an uh, EX passive. Can you imagine Spitfire with Blazing Bullets walking and shooting at the same time? This is one change to make them utterly broken. It's a scary thought. <laughs> 